In the film Anger Management, Buddy Rydell, Jack Nicholson, says this to Dave, Adam Sandler. There are two kinds of angry people in this world, explosive and implosive. Explosive is the kind of individual you see screaming at the cashier for not taking their coupons. Implosive is the cashier who remains quiet day after day and finally shoots everyone in the store. You're the cashier. Welcome to the Social Intelligence Report. In this episode, we'll break down the bagel man's behavior and look at how to deal with a perceived flaw positively. The Social Intelligence Report is sponsored by MyStemCellPower.com, a supplier of botanical-based products scientifically proven to naturally increase the number of adult stem cells circulating in your bloodstream. If you haven't seen the video of the incident, please check out the Twitter links in the description below. Basically, a man in a Bagel Boss store in Long Island lost it because the woman at the counter smiled at him in a certain way. He perceived this to be a slight against his height and an episode of explosive anger against women ensued. After ranting for a few minutes, he was eventually tackled to the ground by another customer. Commenters on Twitter were quick to condemn his misogynistic behaviour and poke fun at his height with elf memes. Many also suggested he was a manifest writing incel, involuntarily celibate, and a good candidate for violence against women. Whilst it was the opposite of being socially intelligent, his explosive outburst was just that. So what should he do? How can someone deal with the perceived flaw positively? It's quite simple. You have to own it. There are several stand-up comedians with cerebral palsy. Steady Eddie and Josh Blue are among the most notable. They incorporate their condition into their routines, poke fun at themselves, and it ceases to become a big deal. It's who they are. He should certainly incorporate humour into his life and engage in some positive self-talk. In a recent study, researchers found that athletes have a greater chance of success if at the critical moment they say to themselves, you can do it. Taking a moment to calm himself before entering a store and saying, don't get mad, you can do it, won't do any harm. He should also be thankful for what he does have. He's able-bodied, not missing any limbs or in a wheelchair. There are many people in the world that would gladly trade what they're dealing with to be short. He can also look to other short people for inspiration. The great Spud Webb was five foot seven and not only played in the NBA, but won the slam dunk contest. He should also get off dating sites, apps. There's an added layer of scrutiny applied online and it's very common to see height requirements posted. It seems like he has a history of being spurned and ignored by women, and he now has a hair trigger to set it off. He certainly has a Napoleon complex due to his short stature, but it doesn't need to have such a negative impact on his life. Accepting it, poking fun at himself, and becoming comfortable in his own skin is ultimately what will make him attractive to women. His height will be less of an issue to others when it's less of an issue for himself. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to learn more from the Social Intelligence Report.